Hi, my name is Nadia Marshall. Welcome to Warmth TV. Today I thought we could go shopping. Now, shopping at Indian Grocers is always a little bit intimidating when it's brand new and something you've never done before and you've never gotten any of the products, you don't know what they look like, the packaging is a little bit weird. So I went to my favourite Indian grocer called the Spice Trail in Southport yesterday and just took a little video of the shop and some of the products that we purchased from there so that you can see what they look like and so the next time you walk into an Indian grocer it isn't quite so scary and you have a vague idea of what things are. So enjoy today's video and thanks to Parvin for letting me take it. So here's the spice trail, this is what it looks like from the outside. It's in Southport in Queensland. And this is the inside, all the goodies. So I'll go through the products. The first one is uh, utter flour or whole wheat flour. And this is a pile of all the different types of rice. We usually get India Gate. It's fantastic. Then some other rices that you might want to try. The pink basmati rice or red basmati rice. The pink is just polished red basmati. And they're all delicious. And moving on. We've got the jaggery that we buy, which is pasram jaggery. Delicious. And the tamarind blocks that we get. And on to the spices. They've got everything you can need, so ground fennel, whole fennel, fenugreek seeds, poppy seeds, they come in blue, I didn't know that. White poppy seeds we use in some of our desserts, mustard seeds we use all the time. Star anise is lovely in chives, bay leaves, here we have ajwan, which we use heaps in kidgeries, then cardamom, ground cardamom, cardamom seeds, cardamom pods, brown cardamom pods, and cinnamon, ground cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, black pepper, and most importantly, curry leaves. If you don't have a curry leaf tree, you can get them here. Coriander seeds, ground coriander, cumin or cumin, ground cumin and turmeric garam masala spice mixes and fenugreek leaves and here we have a great array of pulses and legumes so I've got kidney beans, light ones, dark ones, adzuki beans, different types of dals urad dal, chana dal, chickpeas but we come here mainly for the mung dal, this is the yellow mung and the chilka, the split mung with the skin still on, and then the whole mung. And here are the papadums that we get. This is a really good brand, very tasty and very easy to cook. And coming up we have the asafoetida powder, or hing, in a rice flour base or a wheat flour base. Then the vermicelli, vermicelli noodles that we use in kia. And mung dal flour, this is what it looks like. Rice flour, besan flour, all of these are great alternatives if you have a gluten intolerance or gluten insensitivity. Gluten sensitivity. Semolina, semolina coarse, both of those are wheat products obviously. We use them in halvas, beautiful. Ragi, this is uh, red finger millet, this is what it looks like. And here we have rice flakes. Thin rice flakes, or beaten rice, also known as poha, and here we have the thick poha. There's medium poha as well, but I bought all of them. Then big tubs of ghee, and coconut oil, and some yummy incense. Huge selection, and a table full of goodies, including warm for cookbook. And this is Parvin, who owns the shop. My doggies, Nushka and Gus. Hi Parvin. Thank you for shopping.